We are all creative people. But especially in photography, presentation plays a hugely important role. In this video, we're going to have a look at how a laser engraver can help with that. Imagine being able to present photos not only on paper, but also on stone, wood or on a leaf that just fell off a tree. You could make your own photo jigsaw puzzle or even make your own wooden photo box and photo frames. In the last few weeks I have done all of that and much more. In this video I'm going to share my experiences and thoughts with you. Stay tuned. Before we get started, why lasers? What's so special about a laser engraver? Well, first of all, it's a creative tool, just like a camera. You can do quite a lot of things and not just the obvious that you might think of right now. A laser engraver can help you presenting your photos in ways you couldn't think of. It can help you personalize and customize products and strengthen your brand. To be honest, the only limitation is your imagination, which is hopefully not that limited. The laser engraver that we're going to talk about in this video is the X-Tool D1 Pro. Now, I don't want to bother you with the whole construction process, but the instructions that came with the X-Tool D1 Pro were pretty nice. There are images in it and the screws are colored, so it's pretty easy to set up. And I think most of you can do it in 30 to 45 minutes. The first project that I made with the X-Tool D1 Pro are picture frames. We all know a good photo deserves a great photo frame. So I decided to create my own picture frames. The first one comes in Polaroid style. It holds up to 10 photos in a size of 10 by 10 centimeters, so you can switch them in between. The frame can be placed on a table or hung on a wall. The second frame is a round frame. The round frame shows you that your thought patterns are sometimes not the way they need to be and there are no round frames usually so why not make one yourself while cutting wood i decided to cut my logo out of three millimeter wood which came out pretty nicely and i was absolutely amazed by the detail that the X-Tool D1 Pro was able to create out of wood. The precision really blew my socks off. Even the finest structures are cut out with the utmost precision and the logo easily detached from the plate. Third project, finally engraving images onto various materials. Now that was not quite easy, but it was a lot of fun discovering the right settings for each material. So far I have engraved images on a slate, a tile, cardboard, wood, a canvas and on a leaf that I took off a tree. So while I have already tried a lot, I'm still far from exhausted regarding all the options that a laser engraver gives you. I'm still curious what other materials I can engrave with this laser. To be honest, cardboard was one of my favorites. I didn't expect that at all, but the bridge that I engraved on cardboard came out really nicely and you can even feel the bridge when you touch the cardboard. Next project, customization of photo holders. You all know these little wooden photo holders with a slot. You can place a photo in there and that's it. <laughs> they look great, but they look even greater with a customization. 
So I cut the city names out of Craftwood, varnished them and glued them to these photo holders with wood glue. I would say they're a real eye catcher. Here at the New York lettering you can also see that laser engravers leave some traces of smoke. After all, it's wood being burned. This is where Xtool's Air Assist system comes in really handy. Now Air Assist is basically just a compressor which blasts air just around the area that you're engraving or cutting. With the Air Assist system you're getting a much cleaner result. And as you can see when cutting wood it's basically essential. The next project is a wooden photo box. There are plenty of websites on the internet that generate designs and blueprints for laser cutters. Here I had a photo box with a sliding lid generated in exactly the dimensions that I wanted. A few drops of wood glue and some sanding and the individual wooden box for photos is ready. To be honest, this box is far from being perfect, but it's a first try and to be honest, it came out pretty, pretty good. And it gives me confidence that my next tries will be even better. Next project is a photo jigsaw puzzle. I know you can order them online. Cheaper, faster and more convenient. But to be honest, doing it yourself is something completely different and it makes you really proud. So I decided to transform a photo print into a jigsaw puzzle. For this, I glued the photo onto wood. I covered the picture with masking tape to protect it and then cut out everything with the X-Tool D1 Pro. The result is a perfect puzzle. But to be honest, the picture wasn't necessarily the best choice. Now let's look at some other projects that I've done. Not all of them are perfectly related to photography, but I still want to share them with you. I have engraved and cut custom name tags for my photography workshop students. I have also engraved pens and personalized notebooks. These are inexpensive little gifts that everybody enjoyed. I have also engraved these take more photos drinking bottles with the rotary tool. This tool rotates your object so the laser can reach every side. When I showed these bottles on my Instagram feed, I immediately received inquiries. Crazy. Conclusion. A laser takes time. Lasering takes patience. But it's incredibly fun and I think the results speak for themselves. I can't wait to see what other projects I will discover in the upcoming weeks and months. The x 2 D1 Pro is a professional and absolutely precise laser. I was amazed by the level of detail you can achieve when engraving photos and even when cutting wood or other materials. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more information about laser engraving or an up following video with more details and instructions on how all of these things work, let me know, leave a comment, hit that like button and thanks for watching. Goodbye.